police simulator 2 and i know last time we were undercover but today we actually have our uniform and we're going to do the morning shift so let me switch that so yep it's 6 a.m sunday and let's get into the episode let me close this door okay my partner's waiting downstairs for me but real life time is Friday night. So how y'all doing this evening? Hope y'all all, you know, continue staying safe, like I always say. And let's get into this video. So we're gonna go ahead and put ourselves available on the radio. the way that the, I don't like how the road is so small. I mean, overall, I enjoy it because like I always say on GTA, I'd be wanting to do stuff like this, be able to arrest people, but you can only do that on PCs, and you have to do the, you know, the different mods and stuff on your PC. I just wish they had an update for the PlayStation 4. Go ahead and take that call. Okay, I'm going fast travel. Yeah, no, I, I don't do all that 22 miles. I got time for that. So it's over here. So I'm going to go. Yeah. <clears throat> Ten is better than twenty two. But signal that there's an accident. This person was drunk or was being rushed on the road, but already you can tell that the person that was driving on the wrong side of the road is the one that's in the wrong. Once again, they're on the wrong side of the road. But you know, let's just get there and see what happens. Sharp turn. Y'all 
know the folks don't go nowhere for nobody. Thank you. Just get all y'all, guys. I'll stop by if I get into where I gotta go. And I'm like 50 miles over the speed on it. I wish they could have stuff in your area. Not you going so far away. You know, can't be beggars, can't be choosers, can't expect more than what you get or what you give. So guys, um, I will definitely have to put in the description, but you are more than welcome to follow me on my Instagram, which is LBB underscore forever, stands for lovely, blessed, and beautiful forever, and I have on my story the idea of me doing a live question and answers because I know many people may wonder oh that girl oh her baby's so cute what's her baby name you know those examples um you know you can ask me anything as long as it's not you know one prejudice two rude um but I'm basically willing to answer anything honestly um but as long as it's a respectful question I'm just trying to be nosy I don't mind asking answering any you know questions I'll take care of checking the personal details or you speak to the people um so um I'll put it down in the description else. at the end of the video um you could go ahead and follow me on my Instagram it's capital L B B underscore okay so forever F O R. But let me make sure I got. Let me make sure I even got my own Instagram correct. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's L B B underscore F O R E V E R forever. And you can go on my story. And you could also, you know, message me. You could comment on on YouTube. Or you could also comment on my message. And, you know, ask me whatever questions you want me to answer. And I'll, you know, look through them. I'll try to answer them the best that I can. And overall, I will be, I'm completely honest. I don't sugarcoat anything. Um, and I will say, okay, this one is inappropriate, or whatever. I may not even say it, whatever. I mean, may not even answer whatever if it's inappropriate. But you know, if you want to know how old I am, I don't mind um, where I live. I won't give you my actual address, but I will let you know what city and state I stay in, obviously. <laughs> um you want to know about me and the father of my child more than welcome to know about that um but not that much information gotta still remain a mystery a little bit just just a little bit and then eventually i'm kind of thinking of doing like a a youtube channel of, a, of like a um, a day with not not really like a day with me it's something similar like that 
just you know a little snippet of what I do but you know we'll get into that later okay so we made it to the we made it to the scene so let's go ahead and we have to question the parties involved in the accident so let's go ahead and talk to this Hello, lady here the ambulance will be, the ambulance here, will be in here in a moment. Are you okay? Well, the shock still has me scared stiff. I feel as if my whole body is trembling. Don't worry, Miss Lima. Don't worry it's about that, Miss Lima. That is completely normal. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Go ahead. I'll try to answer as best as I can. Thank you. Much Thank you. That's much appreciated. Describe Could accident, you please describe please the accident please. for me? Well, there's not very much to tell. I was driving, and a car came towards me out of nowhere. You don't expect something like that. I braked and swerved towards the hard shoulder. The car also braked. Unfortunately, he chose to swerve to the same side. I think I saw the face of the other driver shortly before the impact. He seemed quite shocked. Then there was the crash and I blacked out for a moment. Thanks. Yes, Thanks. The other yes, the other driver is confused. Is a confused older Thank man. You Thank you very much for your help. help. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and check the other party. Mr. Hello, Mr. Mr. Abram. The rescue minute. worker should How be here at any moment. Are you okay? How do I get you? Try to relax. Please try to relax. I'm I am from the Autobahn police and you've been in an accident. accident. An accident? I can't remember anything. Relax. You're relax, confused. please. You're confused. Try, try to focus. focus. I'm here to help you. you. I'll try. Are you aware that you, Are you, aware that you were driving on the wrong side of the Autobahn? It was that other fellow's fault. What fellow? What fellow? This lad was driving really close to me. He couldn't wait to get onto the autobahn. He was really pressing me. I guess I panicked a bit and went the wrong way onto the autobahn. I'm so sorry. I really didn't mean to. I know. Can I know. Can I leave you alone one moment? Yes. Carry on. You have to do your duty. Okay, y'all bear with me. My little man done fell in his bed so I can be able to play the game with no problem. <laughs> oh. Okay, so now we have to secure the scene of the accident due to the fact that the ambulance got here. I don't know why they have it set up like that. We should have secured the scene first when we first got here, but I do the things in order because the last time I tried to do it the way I thought it was supposed to be, it messed up the whole game. Okay, so now I have to photograph the accident. Okay, now that I have to picture the accident. This car. Uh, and there we go now we have to inform the paramedics it's good that you're here oh it's good that you're here there are two people here who need your help 
The woman in the back is Angelic Greenhill and has a visible head injury and it is in shock and is in shock. The older gentleman by the other vehicle is called Evan. He has a visible head injury and is in shock as well. And he also appears confused. Thank you very much. We'll see to the patients immediately. Okay, now we have to complete a sketch. And we finito. Now we're on standby for the radio. Check on that car. Yep, they got over just in time. Okay, I don't want to Driving like that. I don't think they're gonna stop. Oh. Okay, so you're not gonna stop. Okay, so I guess we'll. Complete uh, area. Yeah, I already know we're gonna do our fast travel. Cause ain't nobody got time to be driving. 100, 200, whatever far they want us to drive.
this way today. I did not see that. <laughs> not that either. Why they pull over like that? And they just all over something break. Alright. Jesus, how much far are you on the go? Like you like he need that much room. Okay, the tight depth are okay. Let's check their lights. Brake lights, good. Indicator, okay. Headlights, okay. All right, let's look in the trunk. Mm, 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 mm. Go into jail. already that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine that's fine okay the medicate is on hand and it's in order which is good all right Two bags. Okay, that's not suspicious. Okay. Let me speak to the gentleman. Hello. 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 Please License and registration, license please. And registration. Thank you. I'll have a look. Thank you. I'll have a look. Okay. So. Guys, photos okay. The vehicle type is okay. Expiration date is fine. Name matches the registration. License plate matches and a car model matches. Some alcohol. Have you taken any drugs? Have you taken any no. drugs? No, absolutely, absolutely not. not. Back. Have you been drinking? Have you been drinking? Of course. I've not, of course, had, anything I've not had anything to drink. Okay. Back. In conversation. Take into custody. You'll have to come with, you have to come with us. Please, please step out of the vehicle. vehicle. 
And that tow truck will come get the vehicle and confiscate everything. It's only five miles, but I'm not making no U turn, so I'll just fast travel. See that. We have a suspicious vehicle. It's a brown compact car. Two arrests already. Mm -mm -mm. I'm recording. <laughs> Stand by for the radio. I'm going to go back and do regular traffic stops. The one thing I don't get about this last person is how the heck you knew you should have you, you you should have hit them drugs a little more better than that and the other one right on the back seat flow visible you want to get arrested okay there's been a collision on a one on one of our so according to your information there are no serious injuries okay we'll take that oh that's far we gonna fast travel over there. Anybody got time for that? All right, so it is over here. So we can probably come right there. Hopefully that's the right place. That's a big difference from 22 to just a, a yard. Twenty two miles. That was far. Okay, let's put it as an accident. Alright. Okay, we have a rider at the scene. Take care of checking the personal details. Brian's gonna take care of all the personal you information. Can take care of something else. I've recorded the personal details. Everything okay so far? Okay, so now we have to photograph the objects for the accident. Okay. Let's get a little closer. Now we have to speak to the paramedics. Hello, could you give me a brief overview of the situation? Neither driver is injured, but the female driver is injured, but the female driver is a bit of shock. If you want to question her, you should calm her down. If you want to question her, you should calm her down. Okay, so we're gonna complete a sketch before we talk to the casualties. Okay, so now we have the question of parties of the accident. Because Talk to the gentleman first. Hello, Mr. Holtzman. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm okay. 
No, I'm okay. I have a bit of a headache, but I'm glad that nothing worse happened. Headaches can have many causes. Headaches can be caused by many things. Even by the general your body, may I ask you a few questions? What can you tell me about the accident? What can you tell me about the accident? There was a lorry on the hard shoulder in a really stupid position. So there was a lorry involved. Go on. So the car in front of me slammed on its brakes, and I did too. But I didn't quite make it, and I collided with the car. Where did the Where lorry go? Lorry go? He continued down the road immediately Two after the accident. Mm, it certainly wasn't a coincidence. He wanted to make himself scarce. Mm, so he tried to flee the, the accident. Like? The container was definitely red. And the number plate was NIS. Okay, the container was red and then he has the license plate number. But he can't remember what it was. Okay, well he was still a big help. Okay, and let's talk to this young lady here. Hello, Miss Kiefer. How are you? Hello. I don't know. It's quite normal to be it's in shock after an accident. Up that accident. Please take, take a deep, deep breath. breath. You were lucky. You're not injured. Everything else can be replaced. I keep telling myself that in my head over and over again. But it helps to hear it from you too. Just take a deep breath. Okay. How did the accident happen? Why did you step on the brakes? There was a lorry on the hard shoulder. And it was so yep, they brought up the truck driver again. Sticking out into the outside lane. This was right after the bend. I only saw it at the last moment. Okay, what did the lorry look like? Can you describe it? I'm afraid not. I've been agonizing over it, but I also don't want to give you a false description. Okay, thanks. I'll look into it. Well, the gentleman seems pretty certain, and at least he gave us, you know, the tag, the color of the truck container. Apparently, there really was and a now I gotta talk to our partner. I have the color of the trailer and a partial number plate. Good work. What do you think? Should we search for the lorry ourselves, or let our colleagues do it? Oh, we're gonna look into it ourselves. We'll it. I'm glad you said that. I have an idea where we might find the lorry. Let's drive to the next rest. Okay, now we're gonna drive to the next rest spot because that's where they most likely go to. That the truck driver most likely was tired, but it doesn't make an excuse to leave the scene if you caused it partially caused it whatever whether it was part your fault even as a witness it'd be good for you to stay there I got a question so if you were Let's say if you, okay, you may not think you could, could have caused an accident, but you were at least a witness to an accident. You would at least have stayed to be a witness, or would you have left? Okay. So I got a witness that she would stay as a witness to stay, to be a witness. <laughs> if I say witness one more time. <laughs> oh, wait, I was supposed to turn. Back on up. Back, back. Back, back on up. Yeah. But antisocial was not on the game when we were on the phone. So she was saying, like, you don't have to say, but it's good to stay as a witness because some people be lying. And it'll basically be their word against the other person. And if they have a witness, they can kind of add it up and be like, all right, this one, I'm getting more of the same out, you know, I'm getting the same verbatim from two people. Now, okay, one person saying, oh, I did it. And then the other person said, no, I did it. If you got multiple per people saying, okay, that same person that, you know, then you'd be like, all right, that, this one ain't adding up. How is it that everybody's saying this, but you saying this one person saying this? Okay, now we got to check the license plate.
The license plate matches. So let's talk to the driver. Hello, may I ask, Hello, may I ask you a few questions? Oh, he's apologizing. You see, I was on the phone to my girlfriend using my hand-free kit. We had an argument because I'm on the road so often. It was serious. She was about to break up with me. So I pulled onto the hard shoulder without really thinking about it. I didn't see that the trailer was still partly in the outside lane. Shortly afterwards, I heard a crash. It was all too much for me and I drove on. Are the drivers okay? Did anything happen to them? <sighs> okay, so should I be tough or should I be lenient? I mean, he already going through a hard time, but at the same time, he shouldn't have left. So what you think? Hey, you. I'm talking to you. Should I be tough on him or should I be lenient? Knowing that he already going through a hard time and he was, you know, sorry. He felt bad. Huh? Huh? Okay. No, luckily nothing serious happened to them. I'm so glad I pictured the worst. Listen, I can understand your personal situation, but that's no excuse. I hope you are aware of this. My colleague here will take you down for personal details and you will be held accountable for the incident. Okay, what's important now is that nothing more serious happened. You can sort everything out with your girlfriend later. Okay. At least he was, you know, you could tell that he was kind of sincere and he was also apologetic. Cause you got some people that just run like nothing happened. We're gonna put ourselves standby on the radio. There's really nobody on this road. Okay, we have a minor rear end collision. No one has been injured. Canceled. Okay, we'll take that. Ooh, I'm not going 17 kilometers. No! Tough. It's like, should I do this one or should I'll probably just do? Uh, I guess I'll do this one. I guess ten is better than seventeen. down seven.
I hate to have to make a U turn, but it's the only way we'll be able to get there. Let's just try to get there as fast as we can. We're gonna take this exit. Did not see that. Okay, I gotta go. Ooh, slow down. Come on, why why are you driving so slow? The speed limit is fifty, not fifteen. Five zero, not one five. And you didn't even stop. I should have pulled you over. But I gotta go to this accident. What takes the most time is the, the, the driving part. That's what we taking. The, when you're doing a scene, it don't take all that much time. It's just trying to get to the scene. That was smooth right there. Pulling over like that. I know you see my accident sign. Slow down. Ooh, that was a good, uh, uh big hill. <laughs> Not a good, it was a big hill. I'm, I'm the one over here speeding. I'm over here doing 230 and the speed limit 80. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I see that. Y'all ain't see that. I'll take care of checking the personal details before you speak to the people. Yeah, your zoom partner's gonna take down that information. Take care of something else. Everything is in order with the papers, but one of the drivers has been drinking alcohol. Hmm, so it seems as one of the drivers been drinking. Okay, so we have to secure the scene. Okay, now we have to photograph the objects. Now we have to question the parties. Hello, Mr. Han. Hello, Mr. Han. Han. May I ask you Are you questions? okay? May I ask you a few of questions? Course. What can I do for you? From your point of view, From your point of view how did the accident happen? In short, I was a bit distracted. 
I was trying to switch a CD in the car and saw the traffic jam a bit too late. You can see that I rear-ended the car in front a wee bit. It was my mistake, but it certainly won't happen again. Ah, yes. Thank you for being so honest. Okay, I'll see if they could be honest. Did you notice anything yes, unusual? The other driver came over to me immediately and tried to persuade me not to call the police. I found that odd, that when I smelled the alcohol, everything became clear. The driver really smelled of alcohol. I would have informed the police anyway, so that everything was in order. All the more in this case, even if I did cause the accident, that's simply unacceptable. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, thank you for your cooperation. I've recorded your statement. Okay, so it looks like that the gentleman was in the wrong that we just spoke to, but at the same time, the person that he hit has been drinking, clearly, and didn't even want us to call the police. The gentleman here would have taken the fault. And he found it weird that he didn't want the police to be called. And he only found that out. I mean, he found out, you know, the reason why he smells strong stench of alcohol. Okay, so let's talk to this gentleman now. Hello, Mr. Bayer. Hello, Mr. Bayer. Are you okay? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Um, yes. Go ahead. I'm not injured. Can you tell me how the accident happened? Of course. But it's not actually necessary. I've already told the other driver that I won't be pressing charges. You really need me to come. Well, we're all okay. Well, we're already here, so I approached the traffic jam and came to a stop in time and without any problems. I was just about to turn on my hazard lights when someone rear ended me, and that's it. Really, no reason to call the police. Why didn't you want to call? Why didn't you want the well, to call the police? It was unnecessary. Hardly anything has happened. A few scratches on my bumper. There really is no need for the police for that. It seems like you have something. It seems like you have something you want to hide. Hmm. I can smell that you've been drinking. But well, I can smell that you've been drinking alcohol from here. You must be mistaken. Denying it will look denying it only cause you more problems. Okay. You're right. I really am sorry. I've just come from a work. I didn't want to admit it because you're always partly to blame for an accident if you've been drinking. And I really am not to blame for this accident. I have good news for you. Well, I have good news That's for you. This is a popular if misconception. You if you couldn't have prevented sober, this accident, even really? while sober. That's but you still have to answer but for the drunk driving. I suggest, drunk you, driving. Take I suggest you take an alcohol test down objection? at the station. Any no. objections? I'll go with you. Good, that's a wise decision. Good, that Please is a wise decision. Please go ahead and take a seat, seat in the patrol car. car. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have to complete a accident sketch. And we finito. Now we gotta drive back to the station. But y'all already know what I'm about to do. Teleport! I'm about to teleport! I'm about to teleport! Okay, so we're gonna do one more. And then we're gonna end this video. Okay, 
put ourselves available. See that? Yeah, I see that. <laughs> I ain't see none of that. I'm gonna just pull over here. Okay, collision between two lorries, one of the lowest half shed parts of this load. So there's quite a lot to do. Who will take this? Okay, we'll go ahead and accept that. Fine, say we check the mission. We already know we're about to fast travel over there. Okay, so it's here. I do hope, I wish they would, um, maybe I need to get a kit in order to open up more of the world, maybe, I don't know. Um, one of them extenders, to extend the map. We made it to our destination. I'll take care of the gonna talk to the people and get a personal information. In the meantime, you can take care of something else. I've recorded the personal details. Everything okay so far? Okay, so now we have to question the parties involved in the accident. Hello, Ms. Wagner. I see medics have already taken a look at your injuries. Are you okay? Do you mind if I speak to you? I'm afraid so, but I'll try to keep it short. but I'll try to keep it short. Could you tell me how the accident happened? The lorry in front of me slammed on the brakes for no apparent reason, as far as I could tell. I wasn't able to brake in time. Listen, I have a headache. Isn't that enough? No, that's not enough. Not regardless of, the enough. Reason regardless why of why the lorry stopped, stop, if you crash into, into it, that means you were, not you were not paying attention or, or you weren't, weren't maintaining a safe, safe distance. distance. If you think so. Is that all you have to Is say? Is that all you have to say? Yes, yes, you've got it right. I was under a lot of time pressure today and so I probably drove too closely unwittingly. 
Okay, I'll take down, okay, your, I'll statement. Take down your statement, but I'll, but I'll spare, you the, spare you the lecture. I'm sure, I'm sure you know, you know that there is, no, there is justification no justification for such behavior. For yes, such yes. behavior. I've heard enough. I've Have heard nice enough. Day. Have a good day. Okay, now we're going to talk to this gentleman here. Hello, Mr. Friedman. Are Hello, Mr. Friedman. Okay? Are you okay? Can Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? I'm a little confused, but okay. Go ahead and ask. Very well. Very well. Please, Please tell, tell me how the accident, accident occurred. occurred. I was driving my route. I didn't have very far to go when several cars pulled into the acceleration lane. They were going slowly because of all the traffic. Two of them managed to thread their way into the right-hand lane in front of me, but the third didn't make it. I thought that he would come to a stop at the end of the acceleration lane. Instead, he pulled slowly into my lane without warning and without signaling. I had to slam on the brakes. I barely managed to stop. The bloke just kept on driving, cool as a cucumber. I hadn't even had a chance to calm so down. So somebody caused when this. There was a crash, and the other lorry drove into me from behind. Okay, the color of the car. The What's the color of the car? I think. I'm sorry. I'm too wrought up. I can't remember. Did number you plate? see the number plate? It might have been Zinni. I'm sorry. I'm too wrought up. I can't remember. You're doing very well. It's so okay, far. you're doing very well it's so quite far. Normal it's quite normal to be confused after an accident. accident. Don't put Don't yourself, put yourself under, so under so much pressure. pressure. Yes, as a professional driver, you see quite a lot. But this one has really hit me hard. No one is ever prepared no one for something, is ever like, prepared this. For something like this. Take a deep, deep breath and think about the kind question. I've got you can see what you remember. It was a blue saloon. The number plate was S I N Z U five four. I have everything I need. I have everything I need. Thank you for your help. Okay, now we have to photograph the accident. Now we have to remove the objects. Okay, now we have to speak to our partner, Hans. This is the information about the hit and run. This is information Could you please radio this to about the headquarters. The, the fleeing vehicle was spotted somewhere in the vicinity. Should we search for it ourselves or leave it to our colleagues? We're gonna We're search going ourselves. to catch the guy. That's the right attitude. Now we have to complete a sketch. Okay. Oh, 
don't know how they expect us to get around all this. <laughs> I'm causing another accident. All right. There's a time. I'm going back up. I'm going back up. I'm going back up. I'm back up. Back up. Back up. Oh, uh, I know this is not legal, but we, we, we press for time. Hello, do you know why we stop you? No, I don't think so. Your reckless driving has, Your reckless an driving has just caused an accident. Not all that long ago. Whatever gave you that idea? Someone has surely made a mistake. So you're denying that so you're you denying that you cut off a lorry and forced it to stop? It to stop? You bet. You are aware that we you have, are aware that we have cameras all along the Autobahn, aren't you? You know what? I'm not saying anything more without my solicitor. As you wish. As you wish. My partner will take down your personal details and then you'll get an unpleasant letter from us. Okay guys, well I hope you like this video. Go ahead and like and subscribe. And don't forget about potentially doing a Q&A live and you know if you feel like I should do it comment down below and also the questions that you would like 
need to answer. Um, besides that, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and until next time, peace out.